But first, we have new video and 911 calls tonight showing what happened at a construction site shut down by protesters who climbed a crane. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Savannah Louie. And I'm Alan Devlin. This video is insane, and we've got it for you right here. They were denouncing the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center, also known as Cop City. We have Atlanta News First anchor Carly Barnett joining us live from that construction site. Carly. Savannah Allen, this construction site is by Brassfield and Gorey. Now, they are the contractors for the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Opponents know it as Cop City. We want to show you this crane. Look at that, taking you all the way up there. Two people are in the Fulton County Jail tonight where a group gathered to show their support for these protesters. I got somebody in my crane. I don't know if it's a protester or what. A construction worker called 911 around 4.30 a.m. Wednesday, seeing two protesters had scaled a 250-foot crane with a banner saying, Drop Cop City. Atlanta police and Atlanta Fire Rescue responded to the scene at 660 11th Street in Midtown, a construction site for Brassfield and Gorey. They're a contractor for the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. The protesters against so-called Cop City affixed themselves to the crane using a wire and PVC piping lock known as a sleeping dragon. Rescue crews having to cut through the heavy duty materials. And when you do this in a manner that places yourself in danger and others in harm, that is a crime and they will be charged accordingly. Atlanta police identified the suspects as 22 year old Frederick Hetzel of Decatur and 23 year old Parker Demos, who was just issued a Georgia driver's license March 22nd and was previously from North Carolina. We don't need it. Shut it down! Activists say the two identify as trans women who are also hoping to shed light to violence against the trans community. A group gathered outside the Fulton County Jail to show their support for them and share their opposition to the center in DeKalb County. We have told them time and time again, we don't want our tax dollars going into this. We don't want such horrid um, acts of, against this environment. What we're asking for, demanding really, is for investment in communities. That instead of funding militarization and over-policing of black and brown communities, we want those same resources to be used for housing, food, sustenance. The two suspects are charged with criminal trespass, false imprisonment, obstruction, and reckless conduct. You may remember it was back on March 7th that protesters also were at another Brasfield and Gorey site, also in Midtown. One person was arrested in that case. Live tonight in Midtown, Carly Barnett, Atlanta News First. Carly, thank you.